Hey gang and welcome to your very first Firebase Firestore tutorial. Alright then, so this playlist right here is just one course in a whole series of different Firebase courses I'll be doing in the future on this channel. And other playlists I'll be doing are Firebase Authentication, Cloud Functions, uh, Hosting, Storage, and maybe if you're lucky, some Analytics as well. So this series right here is all about Firestore, a real-time NoSQL cloud database that we can use to store our data in for our web apps. So let's see exactly what that means. So imagine we have some kind of cafe review website which lists all of the different cafes in your area along with their reviews or ratings. Then we'd have to store all of this data for those different cafes in some kind of database. Now, Firestore is one such real-time database that we could use to do this, and working with it is very, very simple to do. So, Firebase itself is a NoSQL database, meaning that we don't use tables and columns and rows. Instead, when we create a Firestore database, we split our data up into collections, and inside each of those collections, we store documents, which you can think of as records. So, for example, we have this collection right here called Cafes, and all of these different records stored inside it. Now, each one of these records would be given a unique identifier. That's this thing I've put in brackets. I've just totally made those up, by the way. And each document itself would look something like a JavaScript object, where it has different key value pairs. So, for example, it has a name, Mario's Mocha, a city, and a rating. Now, each of these different things is called a field, and we can have strings, arrays, numbers, times, and much more. So if at any point in our application we want to retrieve this whole collection, we can just reach out to our Firestore and we can get that collection. Likewise, we could just reach out and grab a single document if we just need that one document. Now, one of the great things about using Firebase Firestore is that it takes a lot of the work out of our hands, making storing data for our web apps very, very simple to do. The Firestore is completely managed, serviced and scaled automatically by Google Firebase, meaning that we don't need to worry about any of that. What's also great about using a Firestore is that we can make all of our database queries from the front end right here, so we don't need to worry one bit about server-side code if we don't want it. We can simply just use the Firebase SDK to communicate with our database, no matter what front-end technology that we are using. All right then, so now you know exactly what Firestore is, I think it's time to start seeing how to use Firestore and add it to a project. So in this course, I'll be creating this very, very simple cafe website called Cloud Cafe. And what this does is just list different cafes, maybe near you or something like that. Now, we can add cafes if we want by entering into this form at the top. So I could say Toad's, Toadstool, and that will be in Mario Land. And that will add to the bottom. Also, I can delete things by pressing on the cross to the right, like so. And this is all working through Firebase. So I'm going to show you how to hook up this simple UI with a Firestore database in Firebase and how to listen for real-time updates in that database, how to add data, delete data, all that kind of stuff as well. Now, all of this site here is just HTML and JavaScript, some very simple stuff linked up to that Firestore database. So I'm going to show you exactly how we make it throughout this series. Now, as always, I'm going to give you all of the course files for this series. You can find it at this repo right here, Firebase Firestore Playlist. The link is going to be down below and you can access all of the code by going to a certain branch right here. So if you want to see the code for lesson four, for example, select the lesson four branch right here and you're going to see all of that code in the repo. And lastly, I will be using VS Code for this playlist. It's a free text editor and really nice. So you can download that if you want to follow along at code.visualstudio.com. The link for that is also going to be down below. And finally, guys, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot. And I'm going to see you in the very next video.